Hi, my name is Kelly Stables. <laughs> it was a Tuesday afternoon in the fall of 2007. I was at Prestige Nails, getting my usual mani-pedi with solid fuchsia and iridescent hot pink overlay. <laughs> when my cell phone rang. Who was it but my manager, who sounded very excited. Giddy, some might say. <laughs> I have a top of show guest star for you, Kelly, on a new ABC series that's already been picked up. Now, I had not... <laughs> I had not booked a guest star yet, so already I'm thinking, oh, awesome, bring it on, manager. <laughs> he tells me the name of the show is Cavemen. <laughs> and I remember thinking, Cavemen? Huh. Cavemen? <laughs> And he says, yes, you know, cavemen, like the commercials. So simple, even a caveman can do it. Oh, right, I say. I didn't know they were turning that into a television show. <laughs> well, they are, he says. And good news, your character might recur. <laughs> But before I confirm you, he goes on, casting wants to know if you're comfortable with prosthetic makeup. Now I love makeup. <laughs> Still out of curiosity, I ask him, um, why do I need to be comfortable with prosthetic makeup? Oh, he says, I haven't told you yet. <laughs> Because you're auditioning for the part of Cave Kid. More specifically, Rocky, who the character description says is a 12-year-old cave boy. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I say. It sounded like you said, um... <laughs> Cave boy. Yes, I did say that. He says they're looking for a petite actor to play a 12-year-old cave boy, and it doesn't really matter what you look like because they're going to cover you in prosthetic makeup. See? You're perfect for it. Now, in full disclosure, it's only fair to mention that at the time, I was sleeping with my manager. <laughs> It sounds a lot more scandalous than it was because we were then and still are actually married. So I didn't know I didn't know what was worse the fact that my manager saw me as a cave boy or the fact that my husband saw me as a cave boy. And that that is when I thought to myself you know what, when else in my life am I going to get the unique opportunity to play a, a, a prehistoric, prepubescent, adopted cave boy? <laughs> and the answer to that is never, never again would I. I went to that audition looking like a boy, walking like a boy, and saying such lines as, <clears throat> Check it out, that chick's got on her high beams. <laughs> and, hey, dare me to throw a chicken wing at that lady's butt tattoo? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it did feel a little awkward. Uh, they thanked me, I went home, and that was that. About an hour later, I got a call that I booked the job. Now, sadly, so sadly, 
The show was canceled before my episode ever aired. <laughs> however, however, I was able to walk away with some pretty lovely photos that I'd like to show with, share with you tonight. <laughs> part I was born to play. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Rocky the Cave Boy.